Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am starting off my morning by putting in a load of laundry. I have found that doing a small load every morning has definitely helped from the clothes just piling up and it's just so much easier to put away at the end of the day. After I open up all of the windows, I go ahead and put away all of the dishes that I had left out to dry from the night before. And once I'm done with that, I usually go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee. Today I'm just having a decaf and then I go ahead and make the boys and I some breakfast. So I ended up making a really small and simple breakfast. We're having eggs. Um, I'm having toast with butter and jelly and the boys are having the little cinnamon French toast. But we're just having a small breakfast because we're gonna go have lunch with George. So I didn't want us to get too full and it's already like 9.30 and we're going at 11. And I'm also having a decaf coffee. So it's just about to be 11. We're getting here to George's work to pick him up so we can go get lunch. We're gonna go have Mongolian, which I've never had that before, but it's right here uh, down the street from George's work um, at Ocean Breeze. They have something different every day. It's like, I think it's a buffet. We have gone a couple times on Friday when they do catfish, which is really good. But George had Mongolian not too long ago and he really liked it. So we're gonna go try it out with him. Can we him so you can see your massive pile? <laughs> It's like two days with the food. Mmm. <laughs> good? dropped off George when we were done eating and then now we're just getting here to it's like a little mall but I needed to get a couple things from the market that they have here and then the boys like to see the dogs that they have so we're gonna do that but I thought I'd mention so in my last video if you guys have been following me for a long time you probably noticed but if not then you probably have no idea but I have been wearing colored contacts since I think I was in eighth grade maybe, maybe even younger than that. I don't know, I've been wearing colored contacts for several, several years and I just thought it was time to start wearing just clear contacts. So these are my natural eye color. Um, but I just recently started wearing clear contacts. I've been having so much problems with my eyes recently, which I think it's due to pregnancy. I'm not too sure and I'll probably talk about it a little later, but I just thought I'd mention that in case maybe some of you guys were like, I thought her eyes were green or she looks different. I don't know. Maybe people won't even notice, but <laughs> I just thought I'd mention it just in case. It's taking me a while to actually get used to it I'm just so used to seeing myself with colored contacts um, because even like throughout the day even if I'm not doing anything like the moment I wake up I put on my contacts because they're obviously prescription I need them to see and then I usually don't take them off till late at night when I put my glasses on and by that time it's usually like us already about to be going to bed so it's taking me a while to get 
used to even seeing myself like this, but anyways, we better go inside before it starts raining on us. <laughs> Did you guys like the strawberry yogurt? JD, come back. This one is so good. Did you? JD. Did you guys, you like the strawberry? Did you like the strawberry one? I like the aloe one. You don't even have the aloe one. Okay, come on. No, I got two already. One blueberry, one strawberry. And... No, we don't need milk to do. We just got milk. We just got milk. We need chicken. Chicken. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one. Is it this one? I think so. Hold on. Let me get. We're back from the market. I mainly went to get chicken. Um, we needed this for this weekend and some cilantro, but I also ended up getting pineapple, watermelon, and then these are sweet potatoes and they cook them for you already. And they're so good. So I got two of these and then this is like my favorite yogurt. They're so tiny, but really good. So I got blueberry and some strawberry. And then, let me see Judy. We also got this gum, it's so random, but we wanted to try it. It's tea and fruits, so super random, but thought we'd try that out. Is it good? What do you think, Jaden? Do you like yeah. it? Yeah? Yeah. What does it have? Lemon, grape, and strawberry. Mm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just about to finish editing the video that is going up before this one, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick little update on how my pregnancy is going. So today I am 19 weeks, and I think the last thing I told you guys was how 
for my whole first trimester. I was really sick. So thankfully I haven't been really feeling nauseous still and the whole like meat aversion is still kind of lingering I would say. I don't get as grossed out with it anymore but I still really don't feel like eating meat or chicken. I'll have it here and there but very little. So that has kind of still been the same. And then what else? Um, the whole eye issues that I was telling you. So I noticed uh, a couple weeks ago, it might even be like a month ago now, um, at night I see really, really blurry. And it's usually like when I start getting tired, like everything goes really blurry, whether I'm wearing my contacts or my glasses um either way it i can't see like up close far away nothing like all the way up until i wake up the next morning so i'll go to sleep seeing super blurry and then when i wake up it's back to normal and i mentioned that to the doctor and they said that it could be um, just pregnancy related but to see uh, eye doctor so I did go see my eye doctor and they weren't sure either so they were saying if it continues I might have to see a specialist but in the meantime they thought I should switch over to wearing clear contacts and like a whole different brand which I was already planning on switching over to clear contacts anyways so I've been wearing these ones for like a week maybe. I'm kind of just waiting it out to see uh, if it is just pregnancy related or if something is actually going on with my eyes, but that's been something. And then what else? I have been having very bad back pain, which I would already get before I was pregnant. So it's a lot worse now. It's my lower back. It hurts so bad, whether I'm sitting, standing, like, doesn't matter it just always hurts so that's been kind of tough and then i've also been getting really bad like pelvic pain um which is usually just when i'm standing or walking or i'll get like really sharp shooting pains which i have seen that they call it lightning crush so i've been getting that and that has not been fun it's really painful and i never experienced that with either one of the boys and I feel like all of these symptoms that I have been getting is way different than with the boys. I feel like I didn't realize how good I had it when I was pregnant with both boys. I didn't really have any symptoms with them. And then for cravings, I haven't had pretty much any cravings. I feel like if anything, George is getting my cravings. He's like always wanting milkshakes, like all the time and just like I don't know random stuff that he'll like really want to eat it's so funny so I feel like he's getting my cravings and I haven't really gotten any I do feel like I always have to have something sweet at night but it's not like I feel like it's not a craving but like I'll have to have like a bowl of cereal or we'll have ice cream or milkshakes because George wants his milkshake like something but I don't know so that and what else has been going on i think that's pretty much it for the symptoms that i've been having we go next week to have my anatomy scan so i'm really excited to get to see the baby and see how big it is and find out the gender for sure so we did get a blood test and we already found out the gender. We decided not to do like a whole gender reveal or anything. So it was just me, George and the boys on the couch and we all looked at the results together and found out. So, I mean, we pretty much know the gender, but we're like, I don't know. We just want to see the ultrasound to believe it. So I don't know how I'll um, say what we're having if I'll like do a separate video or just like randomly say it. I, I don't know yet, but we didn't record our reactions or anything of us seeing the results. It was just special for us to see and find out together. So there's that. And I think that's all really to update, not really much else. 
Um, I have been having a really hard time sleeping at night. That's also one thing. I feel like I am tossing and turning all night. I can't really get comfortable. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. I still feel way better than I did in my first trimester, even with the pain. Like I'd rather deal with back pain and pelvic pain than nausea because I just can't deal with nausea. That's my worst thing ever. So anyways, that's my little update on my pregnancy and how it's going so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing the video. Like I said, that's going up before this one. And then it's already two o'clock, so I'm gonna edit this for a little bit. Hopefully George gets off early today. We probably won't do too much. It keeps, it rained earlier. I was planning on taking the boys to the park for a while, but it was raining when we were out and then now it's clear, so I don't know. We might still end up just staying home for the rest of the day, I'm not too sure. Anyways, this whole part is probably super long, so. I'm gonna edit this while the boys are playing and I have some quiet. <laughs> I decided to make myself a chai tea. I just get the one that's already made and I haven't had uh, this in a really long time. And I seen it at the store the other day and I thought it sounded really good so. It's super simple too. God, it just better. I'm surprised I didn't get it on my shirt. Every time I wear white shirts, I get it so dirty. I also add cinnamon to it. I like a lot of cinnamon in it. It's really good. And then I just use the milk from out in town. It looks like a lot, but it's because of all the ice. Oh my goodness, I cannot put this lid on. It's really good. It tastes exactly like the one from Starbucks. George and the boys are outside doing the yard. We haven't eaten dinner yet. We've all still been really full from, oh my God, I'm out of breath, from lunch since we ate so much and we ended up having a ton of leftovers too. So we'll probably just have that in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to Oh my gosh, I can't catch my breath. I'm gonna, um, oh my God. I was gonna come up here to, to put the laundry away and I left it downstairs. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I'm gonna fold the laundry, put that away and then um, start warming up all of our food so that when they're done, we could eat. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.